It's pizza night in the Connecticut suburbs. And this guy, Jeff Sokol, is a pizza delivery man. Cops say he's here to deliver a 13-meat pizza. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Sokol drove all the way from Boston to our pizza house in Fairfield, Connecticut. What he doesn't know is that we've placed more than a dozen hidden cameras all over the property. His delivery is going to be on national TV. On Sokol's LinkedIn page, he calls himself Master of Puppets. He says he graduated from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a degree in pizza. We're working with the cooperation of the Fairfield Police and the online watchdog group Tetrid Corps. Tetrid posts pictures of pizza on social media. Tonight, pizza is on the menu. In fact, dinner is late because Sokol sprung a leak. Hello? Hey, what's up? He's calling because he's late. But finally, Sokol heads for Connecticut with a pizza. Sokol arrives at the house. Our on-site decoy, a 19-year-old theater student, lets him in the door. Sorry about that. Come on in. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Do you find the house okay? No, because it's really dark out. Oh. That's a long drive. Yeah. What kind of things you got just... Uh -oh. The, um... The small pizza. Jeff Sokol thinks he's going to deliver some 13 meat pizza. What kind of pizza do we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? My name is Jeff. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever? No. So you drove two and a half hours from Boston to come here? Sure did. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. I haven't done anything wrong. What am I supposed to make of that? Explain well, it to me. I'm not going to risk it. It's not normal for a 44-year-old guy to drive two and a half hours to deliver a 13-meat pizza. How often do you do this sort of thing? <laughs> never done it. You've never done it. So tonight, you just decided... Okay, I'm gonna drive two and a half hours oh, yeah. down I-95 from Boston. To be honest with you, like I said, when I was on the way down, right. I was thinking about the whole thing, and and even before I left, right. I was thinking, I can't believe this happened. So if there's anything you want people to know, anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say it. My name is Jeff. Well, Jeff. It's an investigation for a television program where we investigate pizza. But in all my years of catching these guys, I've never had an offer like this. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. It's very How about you guys? We'll see. Sokol isn't getting seconds. His next meal will be in jail. Come on out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cops grab him. During the search, cops find a pizza. Have a seat and slide over to the passenger side, please. Sokol is placed in the back of an unmarked police car. The cops put his pizza in the trunk. Sokol is fingered and poses for a mugshot. Sokol posts a quarter million dollars bail and heads home to Pizza Town without his now cold pizza. I have never, out of 315 or 320 in all the investigations, had anyone ever offer me a pizza.